Well, we may have a little success. Um, <clears throat> I pulled the dimmer, the motor dimmer out of here for the fan so you could see back here. We had a little bit of a hot spot in the last video. Um, the wire nut, it's a big wire nut. It was really loose. I could reach in with needle nose pliers and turn it so it was really loose. The wires weren't arced or anything or, you know, dirty. They were twisted together really well. But you can see 82 degrees versus 71. That's only 10 degree rise on the nut itself. Now let's see if we can get it to this hot spot here. So I'll say 86. You know, I don't know. It's only 14 degrees. It's not a lot. So that may have helped. Um, the other side over here, the nut was loose too, but I already reported that. So um, this, uh, the uh, heater here, space heater, has been running for several hours. One of these, uh, what I'll do tomorrow is I'm going to open up that outlet, pull out the outlet, and make sure all the wiring in that one's done too, done correctly. Um, you know, mobile home technology means fast and cheap, so you want to take care of that. Um, the wires are twisted together and under that screw head, and see a little heat there, but 1500 watts will do that. I don't know what gauge this wire is, it's kind of small to me, but it's alright. I'm ready to patch this thing up and uh, put some drywall in here in this rectangular hole in the middle. It's hard to see in this video, but it is a it's missing the drywall. But you can see that there's no more leaks around the perimeter of it. The air was really cold the other night and blowing right through there at me. So the foam yet again did its job. Okay, so the other story was over here around the uh, floor of the door of the front door. <clears throat> now the door still leaks like a sieve. And the foam, I cut it back uh, flush with the wall, and it's still insulating pretty good. It means I didn't hack, um, hack a hole in it. I was trying to be careful. Let's take a look over here. You see a little blue in the corner. That was there the other night, too, but... Um, I trimmed all this back flush with the wall so I could put, uh, you know, baseboard trim in. And you can clearly see there's not, until it recalibrates itself and turns me into a freaking liar. Let's see, how does that work? Oh, it's because the, uh, the door frame's in the way. But, um, all right, well, if we leave the door in the um, frame here, you can clearly see that the edges where I cut it, it's all it's all pretty room temperature now. The corner is still a little blue like it was in the last two videos, uh, last one or two. So the foam's doing its job, it's sealing it off pretty good. I may have to cut into that drywall and foam in there to help stop that, but I think this is a big improvement. Now let's get rid of the blue in the doorway. <clears throat> Well, okay, so relatively speaking, the corner is really dark blue and everything else isn't really that blue. The floor is a little cold because the insulation's fallen away and stuff. But um, it's not that dark blue and the, yeah, I like it. Not the dark blue, so it has helped. I'm thrilled. All right, that's it for this video. See you, bye.